Hello to this video. In this video I want to show you how to upload the hardware into LaSalle. To upload the hardware you need a new project. So you're gonna create a new project with file new project. Then you choose a project name which is hardware. The first step would be to go online and then you can open the graphical hardware editor. either with Tools Graphical Hardware Editor or with the shortcut symbol Graphical Hardware Editor. In the Graphical Hardware Editor you can upload the hardware with the button Upload Hardware Tree from PLC. So you press this button and when you have pressed the button the hardware library is loaded in the background. After the hardware is loaded you get this dialog which tells you that we are using an ARM CPU. The training system has an ARM CPU so you can confirm this window with yes. So this is your complete hardware tree. So when you have a look at the hardware on your desk and the hardware in the software you will see that the KL090 is missing. So we're gonna add this in the graphical hardware editor. Therefore you can go offline and then you can go to the product catalog. In the product catalog you find all modules and we want to choose now the KL090. So you go to the folder SDS and open this one. Then you open the folder special and in the folder special there is the KL090. Then you can place the KL090 with drag and drop on the right place. The KL090 module isn't placed in the graphical hardware editor because it is just a module to supply other modules with voltage. So it's a passive module. So all the hardware is set in the hardware network. To open the hardware network you go to the network tree and make a double click on HW underscore network. This is all the hardware which is uploaded from the library. In there you will also find a module DM161 which is from the module DM161. So this is basically all the hardware. In the graphical hardware editor you can zoom in or zoom out with the buttons control plus your mouse wheel. For the AI043 you have to click on the first pin and there you set the PT100 and then for the second analog input you click on the fifth pin and for AI2config you choose the potentiometer range 0 to 5000 ohm. So now you have set all your hardware and you can continue with your project.